everybody justin here with elite audio video and lighting we are coming to you from copper canyon texas to go over one of our next projects we are in our next episode of our video log where i just kind of walk through our projects see the progress that's been done and see what we need to do next to make sure that we're not missing anything or if anything's crazy we can point it out to the homeowner or the builder so you probably saw this house in one of our previous pre-wire videos it has a pretty extensive control force system going in um, luma camera system um, a lot of other good goodies that we will be talking about and i'm just going to walk around and look at some of the stuff that's already been installed we got a november move in so we are shaking on the trim so we got our luma cameras installed some 520 ips it could be a five megapixel camera um, I, I don't think they can be beat for the money. There's cheaper cameras out there, but all the analytics they have now and how easy the app is to use and how clear the picture is, it works great with our Control 4 system and the way that everything works. I absolutely love these lights. These are cool. I want to get some of these on my own house. Just a long vertical strip. We got our Control 4 chime going in there. Check out this door. I think it's just massive. Single pivot. We'll go in here. We got a full keypad lighting system going in and multiple touch panels in every room. When we first come in, we got our LED lighting going in here. We've got one of the offices. We're wired for screen innovation shades. We're waiting on all that to come in. We got Origin Acoustics uh, D85s through the entire house. Got everything trimmed for our TVs. Keypads are in. We got to switch these buttons out for contemporary and get everything programmed and labeled. We got a big meeting going in here today. Got Rory over here, just you know, enjoying the day. It's actually uh, not 118 here today, so it's actually wonderful. We got our 7.1 surround sound installed, our Origin Acoustics the D109 throughout. We got JL Audio, two 8 inch subwoofers, F108s. Uh, uh, we got a touch panel to still go in. We'll wait till the last week to put those in so they don't walk away. Got a cool dual fireplace that we're going to control via the bond bridge. Everything's putting their 14 by 14s ready to go. We'll have a 98 inch Samsung going in there. Just looking around, we'll run this garage real quick. Get some cool lines in the ceiling here. Got our origins out here, ready to go. We got a TV going out here in the garage. Looks like they still have to drop power to that. That was a last minute ad. Got our equipment closet. Got a couple wires cut. We'll uh, fix that here whenever we do our rack install. Check our network switches here real quick. Oh nope, that's our shade box. We gotta put a shade panel in there. Coming in here, we'll have our LEDs. We got to bring our 220, actually it looks like they did bring our 220 up, they just got to put our plug in. They only installed a 110 and had to be changed, but this will control all the LED lights through the entire house. Uh, the front entry, the kitchen, the shelves. <clears throat> Can't get this thing to open, there we go. We got our network switches in, got to clean up the power cable still, those will be custom made. All your measure, all your mirrors are just polished edges. You don't want special bevel or like. Take these doors off. They don't need to be on for whenever we finish. Get our network switches there. Everything's clean. Still got to label it. I've got a little piece of cardboard, but I wanted to get the wires to memory. We we'll finish all that off. So you do want like a black trim on every mirror? No black. No. We'll have custom lighting in the shelves. All the way up. Cabinet guys are here from Boston putting yeah, in all the I mean, cabinets. You can hit it. Hit it loosely though, you know? We'll Where it's up there. Uppers and UCLs going in. 
They uh, did us a solid, made sure all of our wires were pulled through every single one of them, which is really nice. Coming in here into this hallway, this is all going to be high intensity tape for the entire cove, so we don't have any cam lights. It's just going to be a solid beam of light. It's going to be cool. Look how long that is. I like the way they stepped that down, too. Coming into the bedrooms, we got touch panels in every room, TVs in every room, speakers above every bed. Everything's going to run off a of Core 5. We got two Anthem MDX 16 amplifiers um, to run all the audio. Got glass plates that still need to go in. I need to get those in here in this next week. Bed wall, touch panel, TV. Well, those aren't straight. Uh -oh. They gotta be pulled down and painted anyways. Bad thing about square speakers is through construction, they get moved around a lot. Circles always stay straight, squares do not. We got a frame TV going here, touch panel going there, and then down below we'll have a Paradigm subwoofer. Nice little guest bedroom with a 5.1 system. I like it. And I don't wanna go back through there, we'll kinda go around the pool. Out by the pool, we'll have some James Blood speakers going to each side of the fire pit. Got to run the wire back over there. Um, that will be soon to come. Coming out here on the patio, we got another 5.1, baby. Let's go. We got five speakers. And then up in the attic, we'll have a Origin Acoustic subwoofer. Um, with a small little vent, and I've actually made change it to James. We got another TV here. We got a conduit in the middle um, to pull a frame uh, fiber line through. All right, coming to the master bedroom. We got another one of our cool little coves that we had them build. We are 820 access point from Arachnus. Got another control four touch panel. We have temperature sensors. We got more shades up in here. That's gonna be a big boy. We got a little bit of repair there. We got our speakers up in the ceiling with the lights. We did have our speakers where those lights were. Um, those were a last minute add to hang down um, to match the fronts, but they wanted to move them up top. So we got 5.1 angled down and in. Got our TV there. We're going to do an 85. We got cove lighting up above. It's all going to be pretty cool. Coming into the bathroom. We got under vanities on both sides. And then we get into the closet. We're going to light every single cavity with cob LED tape. In the gym, more stuff going on. Got some TVs already trimmed out. Got to, try to change out some light switches, but overall everything is looking good. Uh, cameras we had put in last week around the property. Had a couple issues with a couple wires cut. We got those repaired. He's actually able to use that hole right there to rerun one of them, but overall, everything's looking really good. Stay tuned for November and we'll have finals on this one. Talk to y'all later. Like and subscribe.